hello guys in this video i am very excited to introduce you to a richer context for rag the project which i am going to discuss today and we will also do a hands on is called as raptor raptor is a retrieval system for large language models before we go into and check what exactly this raptor is let's have a quick discussion on retrieval augmented generation or rag we all know that rag improves the output of llms by gathering from documents and or web pages snippets that are relevant to a user's prompt these snippets tend to be brief to avoid exceeding an llm's maximum input length for example amazon bedrock's default accept length is 200 tokens that's it but important details may be scattered throughout longer passages passages as we know so short snippets can miss them a summarizer can condense longer passages into shorter ones and summarizing summaries can condense large amount of text into short passages and that is where this raptor helps all these text snippets or excerpts used in rag tend to be short so these researchers have used summarization to pack more relevant context into the same amount of text and that is what this raptor is all about and you can also check it that out in this diagram now the way it works is that a raptor retrieves a material from casper which is a question answering corpus that contains around 1600 research papers on nlp and then these researchers processed casper through an iterative cycle of summarizing embedding and clustering so there is there is a lot of good details which is uh, present in this paper and you can read through it as how they um, created the raptor tree and then how they uh, went about it pretty simple there is a root layer just as we know that in a tree there is a pa parent and then branches and leaves so that is what they have followed here now let me take you to my local system my vm where i have ubuntu and i have one gpu of 48 gb ram which i will show you both the vm and the gpu have been very graciously sponsored by mast compute so if you're looking to rent a gpu i would highly recommend them their rates are very affordable their sla is quite good very very flexible no lock-in i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i will also put a coupon for you so if you will use that you will get 50 percent of discount whatever pricing they have right now on few of the gpus so please check out the video's description you will find that information there now let me take you to mast computes vm so this is the vm where i am running ubuntu 22.04 and this is my nvidia card where i am running nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram so it's really generous of mast compute let me clear the screen next up i would highly suggest that you create a conda environment uh, through which we will keep everything nice and simple and separate from our local installation let's clear it and now let me create the conda environment i'm just calling it a raptor and you can use uh, any python for this raptor over 3.7 i would highly suggest go with this at least 3.11 just press y here and this virtual environment should be created anytime now that's done let's step into this virtual environment by activating it and you can see that in the parenthesis okay so that is all good and nice now in the next step let's try to uh, get clone the repo of raptor so i'm just using the git command to clone the repo and i will drop the link to this uh, repo and the paper and video description so rep is cloned let's cd to raptor let me clear the screen and show you the content of it and you will see that there are a lot of stuff scattered around there we have requirement.txt so we need to install it just do pip install dash r requirement.txt and it is going to install all what is required in the current system in our virtual environment so let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long so you see that all the requirements are done let me clear the screen now for now i will be using this with open ai's models but you can use it other models too um that thing is i'm not sure if that is available to use it other than open at the moment but as per their repository 
if not now that will be available very soon so that you could use raptor with open source models but i for now i couldn't find it it's a very very new project still evolving so maybe check it out after a month or so i think they should be able to support it and i will also keep you posted and when that's available i will do another videos with the open source one but for now let's try it out with open uh, open ai's model so go to platform.openai.com and sign up and then grab their um, open ai's api key from there so i'm going to set this api key here and then i will clear the screen and that is a paid option if you don't have any account yet maybe you will get a credit if not just put in 100 uh, 10 dollars and you should be able to use it so i have set my key one more thing i want to show you to the ls and go to their demo directory you will see that in the demo directory they have this sample.txt file so i'm going to use that one so let's go back and you can also uh, yeah let's go back let's clear the screen and now here let me fire up my python interpreter that is done and now let me grab my environment first so i'm just going to import the os and then i'm going to i already have set the environment so i'm not going to set my open ai apis key but if you want you can even set your open ai's api key here so just put it here i'm not going to do it because i already have set it in the environment variable next up let's import the retrieval augmentation with this raptor so as you remember it is what it is doing it is just creating a recursive tree structure for our retrieval augmented generation and we will just do it on our sample.txt file so let me import it and there you go so you see as i imported it it has loaded the files which is a vector store in memory so it has already done and this file has come with avx2 support so as i mentioned this um, file stands for facebook ai similarity search or files and it is a library for efficient similarity search and clustering of dense vector and when we, so and this avx2 it is advanced vector extension and it is a vectorization extension to the intel x instruction set that can perform single instruction multiple data over vector of 256 bits so that is what we are going to use here okay so now you know what files is and avx2 support is and then let's initialize our retrieval augmentation so you see that our retrieval augmentation has been initialized here with this one and it has says that it has also initialized the tree builder with the config and if you keep looking at it it has also set up some of the hyper parameters like max token is 100 and then top k probability is 5 and there are few other information that it is going to do summarization length as 100 clustering embedding model is using from openai and then there's a lot of other information if you keep scrolling down okay so that is done now let's grab our file and as i showed you earlier we have the sample.txt file i'm just going to read it and store it in this text variable because this is a file on which we are going to do our rag and we can do that by simply adding this text file to our retrieval augmented object which we created above how good is that and as soon as i press enter now let me go up you see that it has creating the leaf nodes out of that retrieval tree and then it has created three leaf embeddings it is building all the nodes and it is using that cluster tree builder and there you go it is working so let's wait for it to finish and of course uh, it is using those api calls from my open ai so it's a paid option it would be really good to do it through the open source models there you go so this is our uh, retrieval config that uh, it used and it has also successfully initialized the tree retrieval okay and it has also done creating all the leaf nodes cool so our embeddings are ready and now you can do the rag or in other words you can ask the questions from the document so the question here is how did cinderella reach her happy ending now we will just get the answer with the help of that retrieval um, agent with this uh, answer underscore question function and you see that it just took split second 
and came back and now we can print that answer there you go so it is right out of that document and of course you can go in and then add more documents to this chapter so i believe one of the easiest way of doing rag at the moment if all you are doing is you're initializing it you are just simply adding more and more uh, files to it and of course you can add more files and then you are simply uh, using it to answer the questions how good is that so that's it guys let me know what do you think i think raptor has really introduced a new approach to retrieval augmented language models by constructing a recursive tree structure from the document and this allows for more efficient and context aware information retrieval across larger text which addresses common limitations in traditional language models so very happy about it because recent llms can process very long inputs uh, if you look at gemini they can do up to 2 million tokens and cloud 3 could do up, uh, up till 200k tokens but it takes really time to process so many tokens so prompting with long inputs can be expensive approaching a few dollars for a single prompt in extreme cases and i have seen that with open ai the raptor enables model with tighter input limits to get more context from fewer tokens so i believe this is a technique for the developers who struggle with input context lens so i think this is amazing so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think i will drop the link to raptor in videos description play uh, along with it and let me know your thoughts on it that's it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching